Hello and welcome to some Iowa here and see open. We've got ourselves a late night race today, but a decent bit of drivers in here. We got a 22 truck field. Um, I believe it's single split, however, but hopefully it should still be a fun race. We are about to head out for qualifying here, and we have a setup from OSR. I got a little bit, a little bit aggressive on the tape. I, I put it up a little bit. I was having fun in practice and just seeing how far I could push it. And it seems like this should be okay. And uh, so that's why I'm going to see you with a blown motor on about lap 40 or so. <laughs> I hope that prediction's not correct, but um, I only increased it just a tiny bit just for fun just like pushing my truck to the absolute limit i guess okay. we will hopefully oh it's kind of not the best run but we'll hopefully get a good lap here i'm thinking lap two might be a better lap because of the cold tires you get here on lap one so we will actually run the high line finish off lap one because it's not that much slower in fact that was pretty darn equal but it will get us a better run of the line that was at that felt pretty good and this time we will head down to the bottom the guy behind has just done a didn't quite get it as close to the bottom as I might have liked, that puts you but 213 is better, All right. three, three, and uh, I'll take it. Pretty close to mile time best, so. Uh, we are unfortunately the number one truck out here today, but no matter. I don't even have the excuse for work, I'm just up late because I like racing. I've done like five, six races today. It's been a blast though, um, actually being off work on a Monday, all the new tracks are out, I've been having a, such a fun time, so. I'm uh, gonna have a bunch of videos ready for the rest of the week, all uh, all off the start here. And uh, hopefully this race will be good as well. Lots of fun racing today. Started it off with some USF 2000. Did some ARCA on the straight to field split to start the week with Nick and Gavin. Did some Silver Crown, Never I never get to do. I got tightened the wall almost. That was fun. And uh, some sea open here tonight. Plus, I think I should be off work on Wednesday as well. I kind of get the feeling like maybe they hired someone new and they're trying to give them some, <laughs> some experience or something and fill up their schedule. I'm kind of wondering why I have some holes in my schedule this week. But uh, it's a nice break, to be honest, because I have been going hard. <laughs> the past week or two or more because we were very short on workers so that's why I've been exhausted but who cares about that I certainly don't I don't want to think about work right now we are waiting uh, people to finish up I guess I can do a practice pit in here I recommend if anybody out there is going to do a race an open race at Iowa Definitely practice a green flag pit stop. This pit road is easily one of the toughest to get onto. So, uh, if you're not familiar with it, you'll see in just a moment, it is like the sharpest turn you've ever seen. Down here, keep out of the gas, middle between those two marks on the wall. Sharpest turn you've ever seen, and into the pits. I don't know if I can go harder than that or not. I don't know if I want to test it though. I may be willing to push my uh, temps a little bit. I don't know if I want to push anymore into pit road because if I overshoot it, that barrel is ready to receive me and rip my truck to shreds. So uh, don't hit the barrels. In fact, it is such a tough pit road to get onto that I think I will strongly con why they don't qualify? I will strongly consider just staying out long because in a single split, especially, 
I don't know if guys are going to be able to get onto pit road. Like, there's going to be somebody that might mess it up and bring out a caution. So, maybe I just don't have enough faith in these guys, but I think uh, my strategy might be to go a little longer if we do have a green run to start this thing, which is also not a guarantee. But, wow, I'm really surprised how few people are That's qualifying. Also, there's like three people not here. Weird. We got the pole, though. That's cool. Like two tenths. But then again, no one else qualified, so I hope they uh, don't know something. <laughs> I don't. That's weird. Uh, I am a little concerned about this setup. It's very stable, which is nice, but I'm worried it's too stable, as in it's going to get tight. Uh, it seems like a setup that Nick would probably love. He really likes having a, a reliable, steady setup, based on what he said in the past. Which, I mean, who doesn't want a setup that's not going to murder you? So, I guess there's that, too. <laughs> but, uh, I think he would, he would like this setup. I could be wrong. Maybe he'll do this combo this week. I was a good track. Always looking forward to seeing uh, what other guys run that I can watch. Had my brake bias at like 60, I think I put it. Should be good enough. I'm gonna really try not to overdrive it. It seems like I have pretty good short run speed if this has anything to do, uh, anything to say about that. So I don't want to overdo it and hurt myself ripping the fr right front off. I'm also going to be curious to see if the higher line actually is better on the, the right front. I'll, I'll be curious to see if that's the case. There's a lot of things I can learn here for sure. But we will be rolling off here. P1! Adding a pole to the stat sheet. That's always nice. Reach 5,000 I rating today for the first time. Keep uh, saying it like it's new information, but if anybody has seen any of my videos this week, they're going to be like, yes, we know. <laughs> but it's a, I like the round numbers. It's a nice little milestone to reach. It's been a while since I got 4,000, so it's like, hey, look at that. I've achieved something. Try to find out real quick what gear we want to be starting in. Well, he went from Talladega to this. I didn't go to Talladega, you kidding me? I'd rather be somewhere than like this. I had lost right. I missed my flight to Talladega, unfortunately. What a shame. <laughs> I'm bringing a Nashville truck, so. Similar track. Should be fine. <laughs> it's, I think it's more challenging here, so I like Halliday anybody can win. So it looks well, like it's definitely a first gear start. I, that, uh, champ. I got four seconds. I had to push the guy to the win because I found myself in a spot where it was just me and him. And I could even try to pass him and let them catch up or whatever, but I'd four seconds in the pushes. <laughs> Not one win. Four seconds. I got one. I think I got two. One, two. I think I got two. I got one win with NIS race. I, oh, I got twice, three times, and I pushed, I pushed uh, uh, someone to the finish to win. Sucked to my NIS first. Okay, Coach Gary, you're ready. Oh, sure. Green flag, green flag. All right. Got a nice launch, it looks like. Come on. Imagine that. They're going to wreck, aren't they? I just got that feeling after how that start looked. Here's a little bit of break. Hmm. Whoever got put on the outside, I'm sorry. I was about to let up. You did first. That really sucked. 
Take it easy now. Just stand there, I was right behind you the whole time. These bumps suck. Alright. I am really taking it easy, and I'm apparently out to about a second lead already, so I'm going to take it even easier. Because why not? Where are they running back there? Are they running the high line? Doesn't look like it. It's really trying not to abuse the right front. Hopefully I'm not slow and abusing the right front. That would not be a good compromise. Sorry, Trader. Done that before. It's alright, man. I know you lost me at 18. Green so far, though. You said that, and I think some dude about Rick, and then it's 18. I was wrong about them wrecking immediately. Never been happier to be wrong. I see some smoke. Yeah, Connor, I am like watching these guys, so he's going to go around more power to I feel like I'm really babying it through the corner, but I'm holding a gap, and there's no reason to go any harder if I don't need to. I guess since it's Monday, maybe a lot of the setup guys are still waiting on their setups. <laughs> oh, Sour was on it, though. We got that set up out quick. What did you have? Or just recycled an old one, I don't know. I don't know how they operate. <laughs> it was weird, though, actually, um, now that I think about it. When I first got in the truck, it was not legal. So maybe they are recycling an old one. Uh, it had, like, one of the cambers was too high, I think it was, and I had to, uh, <laughs> I had to adjust it, and, uh, it looked like, uh, turning it down and then applying it kind of, like, allowed it to even out a little bit, but, uh, apparently they're pushing, uh, pushing the limits of the rules on this setup, which, hey, a lot of times that means, uh, it's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> That was kind of interesting. So if you uh, download the uh, OSR setup this week, it'll be the first one. Yes, in the case wall, they man. release another one later, uh, you might have to adjust it a little bit. Keep that in mind. I am just taking it easy. I am driving at about 40% right now, and I'm still pulling away. I think they're fighting back there, so that's helping. Why don't you let us buy for you, Um, I'm sorry I came up too early. I'm sorry. Get some nice turn out of the brake box. Good. Got it pretty low. 60% I think is where I had it. Just worried about working all. too hard. Trying not to turn the wheel. Trying to turn the wheel as little as I can, anyway. Turning in with the brakes, essentially. Letting the brakes turn the car in on entry as much as I can. Working so far, though it is still very early. The gap to Pretty sure. Is now seconds. Like, normally this, uh... Uh-oh, oh, enough yeah. smoke. Oh, damn. Normally this, uh, combo gets pretty loose, the, uh, truck does, on exit. And I noticed it gets a little bit loose out of this corner, turn two, on cold tires. But after that, pretty much not at all. Like I said, it's crazy stable. And if it's going to be this fast, uh, I think they've uh, got a pretty darn good setup this week. <laughs> Everybody rush on over to OSR. That, that, was a 24 .2. that, of course, is assuming I don't fall off an absolute cliff right with the tires. Say. 
I'm, not, I'm kind of ignoring the conversations, I'll be honest. They're being pretty chatty. I thought I might have heard my name, but most likely not. I don't know why you'd be talking about me. Mm -hmm. This is fun. I'm by one. That was a great track. Designed by Rusty Wallace, if you didn't know that. Oh. I almost painted the wall for him. Wish the Cup Series would go here. That would be pretty cool, I think. But, hey, maybe uh, that might be an option. I mean, they went to Gateway. My, uh, the closest thing to my home track. So maybe they will uh, go to Iowa at some point. It seems like they've been willing to be pretty creative with the uh, schedule the past couple years. Willing to try new things. I feel like they would potentially do that. Waiting a little bit longer out of four, because it is getting a little bit tight. Are you guys shifting in a third? I'm not. I do. I'm not, but it could also depend on the setup, whether you want to do that or not. Different rear end ratios or something. Open series, you always have to consider that. How you run the truck might differ. The number four back there, is he gaining? He might be gaining. I'm gonna look at that gap. It was at 3.7 a second ago. Seems like it's uh, bouncing around a little bit. We'll look at it at the start finish line. 4.0. It's nice and easy to remember. Let's see if we are losing, losing pace. So that is something that is relevant to me. Something I will need to know. Oh yeah, he's gaining, I think. Well, we got a good round on that corner, so he only gained about a tenth, but still. Gaining's gaining, so we'll keep an eye on that. Trying to be a little more patient on throttle because I'm gonna hit the wall. Wow, yeah, it just did not turn. Alright. All right. Even being patient on the throttle was not enough, so. I need to be more patienterist. Don't overcorrect and kill me, please. I said please. Right, we're taking the high line. This is my tour of the high line. Not quite as fast on entry, and we're through middle, but you get a great runoff. It's actually pretty equal. So, see if you like it when you're running through practice here. I don't know what it will do to the tires if you do it during a race. Generally, I assume that running the high line is worse on the right front, but this is a pretty unique track, and you do have to really kind of dive in when taking the low line here, so this could be a interesting case where maybe the high line is where you want to go in three and four because if you do it in one and two of that bump will send you in outer space there's a bump between turns one and two here that is more of a mountain than a bump it's iowa mountain and it will send you in the wall if you hit it don't stop on the track that guy looks like he's gonna stop on the track please don't stop on the track Please don't. He looked like he was going to stop on the track. No, no way to get out, dude. He looks like he was thinking about it. I don't know if he was, but it looks like he was thinking about it. Oh, there he is. Okay, I guess that's okay. <laughs> I guess it's okay he's sitting down on the apron. Love to have a green flag pit stop. Sure. This is 
gonna wait until it brings out a caution, maybe. He's just having a nice, some nice tea and crumpets or something. That's weird. Taking a bathroom break. Just gonna sit down there at the bottom of the track. He's still there. Hi. Bye. That's a weird one. I hope he's okay. Batman. And already? No way. You gotta be joshing me. Like I said. Damn, I thought you get the apron quicker than that. Like I said, I am going to go long here, because I don't believe that everybody in here is going to be able to enter pit road successfully. So we are going to go till, I don't know, lap 65 or something. That guy's just going to stay down that all night. The truck's a little bit loose. That was interesting. That was a new feeling. A welcome one. Yeah, he's been chilling down there for about 10 laps now. Well, he's been there for about 10 or 15 minutes. I haven't been paying attention. I'm trying to find a different line. <laughs> I hope the 20 truck is doing okay. <laughs> I know it didn't bring out a caution, and it's not bringing out a caution. So. Nope, he's gone. He has uh, continued on, I think. Oh, you're trying to catch up to slow of me. All right, left traffic. To take the middle line here, it looks like. You accommodate left traffic. Still there, inside. Clear inside. I did not expect this truck to start getting loose. Oh, we had a partial wreck maybe there. Some smoke and I see a slow truck ahead. This truck's feeling great. The fact that it has now swung over to being a little bit loose on exit is such a good sign. Really enjoying how this is feeling right now. Can confirm he's no longer seeing them. He gone. <laughs> he might be on the track now. Outside. I'm just glad he's okay. Clear outside. He had to poopy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he pulled out from the 21. Oh, he's out. No, like he pulled back onto the track right in front of the 21. Oh. I, th I thought he was the 21 truck. Yeah, I didn't pull out in front of nobody. I spun it off the uh, turn two by myself, went down the inside wall, didn't touch anything, and uh, I'd come back on the track. I watched for the last car. We were not talking about you, sir. Not you, the guy that was sitting down there for like 10 miles. <laughs> yeah, not you, dude. <laughs> It must have been the 20 then if it was the 21. Glad we clear that guilty conscience though. Yeah, it was the 20. I thought it was 21 too though. This truck feels great right now. This late in a run. Like Man, this, this is awesome. Whoa! Off the corner. I'm just hoping for a cost. No, thank you. That lap was at 24.7. Questions, please. I really want to put my uh, pit entry to the test here. I think I can gain some time. Not that I necessarily need it at the moment, but if I go long, maybe some guys undercut me and do stay green, I might need it. 
Okay, Colton. Pit window is open. Steel window open, but I am not gonna go through that window until about lap 65, like I said. So that way the guys that take it about halfway, lap 60, they have a chance to mess it up and bring out a yellow. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should do an, a non-round number, because you might get a couple other guys that had the same idea, 65, maybe we'll do like 66. Maybe uh, get a couple more guys to show they can do it. Why do I have all-time optimal up anyway? I'm going to put session last lap up here in a minute. Glad this thing's getting loose on exit too, because it's just more fun to drive. That sounds like something I shouldn't even be worrying about right now. But it is fun fighting a loose on exit car. Happen to do a little counter steer. Hey, it's the 20! He's okay. Like, worst case scenario, if someone stops like that, like they're having a medical emergency or something, and they can't even get to the pits or something, I'm like, kind of in the back of my mind worried about that. Like, I hope that guy's okay. Like, I didn't say anything, but I was kind of like, oh, that's weird. That's kind of weird, too. Outside. Excuse me, sir. Outside, clear. <laughs> All right, that broke some momentum, but that's okay. We got room to spare. I did see Brandon Brown. I doubt that's the Brandon Brown that races in NASCAR. It's a very common first and last name, as evidenced by the three in his name as well. Could be. Never know. Never know for sure. Very fun so far, though. No cautions. Even for the guy that decided to park it. Tower said, nah, we're good. Guy's having a picnic down there in turn one, but... Yeah, keep the race going. Thank you. Yep. really interesting to see what the tires say after this run. Because I assumed the right front was going to be a problem. But now it's getting loose on exit, so I'm like, alright, am I actually on the right gear more than I think I am? Brian, right, can you just let me buy, otherwise the leader's going to catch both of us and lap us both. Oh yeah, the guys are fighting to stay in the lead lap. I better be aware of that, just in case they fight a little harder than I expect. I got sideways. Alright. More of that. Gentle on the throttle. Self spinning from here would be Thank kind you. of embarrassing. It's usually embarrassing, but. You're lucky I wasn't like, this is a racing game. I'm supposed to race you. You were taking it. I kind of was. Be embarrassing to throw away a five second lead by self spinning. I appreciate you letting me go though. Coming for you guys. We're gonna lap you. Up. Get that position back. <laughs> the captain Brown behind us now. Two, four. Seven seconds. It doesn't even feel like it's falling off anymore. If anything, it feels like it's getting faster now that it's loosening up on exit. So that makes me feel even better about uh, my strategy to go a little longer. If I stop falling off pace, that was a real necessity. So these guys are battling, though. That's oh, you get a that little concerning. Have to be careful. About 20 left, saving tires. Outside, 
outside. Stay low. Give me room. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Gap to Brown behind is now 5.8. The lap time was at 25.0. So, got to pass one Thank guy. We drove that just a tiny bit. That's alright. That's the beauty of this track. You can run just about anywhere. And no, if it's getting loose on exit, I might try the high line here to slap. We'll experiment with it. We got session last lap up so we can see how it works out. Able, thank you. <laughs> that looks faster to me. Got to be willing to experiment. Lap time was 24.8. Watch these guys ahead, though. They're scaring me a little. What a great track. Any track that's got multi-groove like this, A+. Plus. So much fun. If this counts as a short track, I take back what I said about Concord being my favorite short track. This is probably it. This is kind of like a debatable. That was scary. Kind of big to be called a short track. I think it's like one mile in length, maybe just a touch under, like seven eighths or something like that. But it's, uh, whatever you want to call it, it's fun here. I was great. Just trying to make the cut turn. Really, dude? No cautions. Let's not do that. The car out Have we been to 18? Keep low. Yeah, this guy's fighting for his lap. I don't like it, but I get it. Gotta be careful, Ryan. Right Your lap time was 24.2. Hold Give me line. a goddamn 4x. Okay. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. You're an idiot. Stop being idiots. No more idiocy, please. I'm still gaining on the guys behind. I think they're battling back there too, so I'm not really too concerned. I'll play. I'll play around a little bit. Stay low. Take it for what it is. Kind of fun. Jeez, nine. Don't want to block this guy off. Oh my god, he almost turned into me. That was scary. Yeah, I was running with you the whole time. Clear outside if you want it. Just done a 25.0. Back to it. No more double file. Which lane yeah, is this guy? Wow, it's guessing low. He just wrecked. Oh, no. no wrecking. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> You're halfway home. Oh, what the? Not sure what to say about that. Lumps remaining on this tank. Well, when I had to hit the brakes coming off the, the corner with a loose side. truck anyways, I mean, there's nowhere to go. Right. I'm back. There's a car on the high side. Clear I'm back. High. Well, we have lapped 10th place. Right. Halfway. Your lap times are improving. <laughs> Your lap times are improving. I wasn't trying to mess with you there, Colton, but I know that caution can come any lap now. Oh, I understand. No big deal. I don't know why he left. He didn't even really hit anything. He didn't actually hit anything. He just... Oh. You've just done a 24.8. Oh. 
So, three spots. So he was polite about it. He's like, I know I raced you. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's saying I was the one time. I got over for him to go, and then he just all over for him. He's going up the wall, maybe. That scares me. I will go ahead and turn down. Clear outside if you want it. That lap was a 24.9. It's another one in people's direction, so I'd like to bring it on to my house. Who's that? Yay, Highline! I always play my record on Ricky. I know, Jason, I know. You, you can, you're about the only one. But now, number 21. Press tighten back up a little bit, so I can push a little bit more on exit. I think it's because I started running the high line a little bit. I am just having a fun time out here, being able to run the different lines. The 18 one who was wrecking too early. That last lap was at 24.8. Oh, I was really worried I was about to hit you. We have fresh tires behind us. I think we might give it to you low here. The, the 18 has been ripping already. Assuming he's gonna go. Just making sure so I go back and watch. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. It's obviously blatant. Uh, I don't see where guys are. I don't know if they've paid what. I can't even see because it's all lap cars on my relative. Behind is Brandon Brown, 6.3 seconds. That was a 24.8. No. No, no, no. Okay. That was scary. <laughs> uh, don't do that. Let's continue that action, please. Go ahead and go to okay. That lap time was 24.9. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. 18, you're the one that's wrecking people, so you need to watch the hell out, buddy. Guess I'm just gonna go a tank of fuel if I'm gonna just be going faster every lap still. I mean, I know I had to... had to avoid something last lap, but... It's, it's, it really just doesn't feel like it's falling off. Feels like the truck's fine. I mean, I guess it is. That was a bad corner, though. I can't really tell when the guys behind are pitting. I had no idea you were getting ready to go in the pits. Like, they just uh, sound like they're going to rain. Six pitting in. Go ahead. The counter, Brown, behind is now 7.2. That was uh, 24.9. Hmm, I still just don't trust that they're not going to wreck it getting into the pits. I'm just going to have to stay out. I'll be the wreck, <laughs> getting loose on exit. So I spin by themselves, we're all spread out. Three pitting, three pitting, three pitting. Okay, guy behind is pitting. I might have to come in soon. Brown behind is pitting. Pitting this time. Okay. I think I'll have to come in here. Alright. It's time to pull the trigger. Oh, I have to I thought you tried to go in the Next lap. I thought you went in the <laughs> Wasn't prepared. Okay, Colton. Yes, okay. Alright, I'll get you the water barrel. Ah, well, that was a good recovery. 
Don't mess this up. This is such a hard game. Really. Don't mess this up. That guy missed it. Is the car exit in the pits? Watch your Man, this track's so bad for hits. Forty miles per hour. We'll fill you to the end of the race. Caution! Yellow flag. I knew it. I knew it. You've got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding. Pit box team ten. That's, That's unreal. unreal. Five. Three. Y'all reckon for last or what? One. Right here. Well, yeah, let's this make this situation worse. I don't know what this is going to do. 5973. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it felt pretty good. Okay, punch it. Line up, single file. Yeah, we'll be alright. No idea how this is going to play out. Still pretty dumb, though. 20. The leader's pitting now. We're under caution. Pit's closed. The car in front is pitting. Car nine. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Well, <laughs> no idea what this is gonna look like. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, though. Being able to get on pit road, get my tires changed, and then come out. I think we might be okay. Hey, you pitted one? Pit road's open. Pit are open. I'm going to put that in. Not the one car. Is that useful? I guess it is. I'm just looking at how he hit it and he's still in the front of this. I guess because he had a good lead on him. People pit at different laps, way, but it's after the first run, so that might be useful information. I'm pretty impressed my tires weren't that much worse. Tires were just slow. Yeah, my tires were 77, 77 on that side. All right, we're still in first. Where's everybody else? Dang, this person won't get the way around. Couldn't have come out of the pit a little bit slower, could they? Mm -hmm. The guys aren't even going to get the way around. Hmm. So we got the number two back there. A couple guys still on pit road. I guess. You never fail, man. When I pit, something like this happens every time. This is definitely I weird. I was just staying out. Curtis, you always say, I knew I should have stayed out, so next time, just stay out. I'm just lucky I missed the pit. <laughs> Can you do a whole race on one tank of fuel? No. Yeah, I highly doubt that. Never looked at the fuel, actually, so I was like, oh, no. If you save a lot, you can go 99 laps. Yeah, but uh, at that point, I don't really see a point why we would do 99 laps, because everybody's just going to be blown by you with new tires. Yeah. Worked out pretty good for me last race. P3. Oh, okay. And did not have a P3 run going. I noticed that the uh, lap times kind of plateaued after a while, even with uh, worn tires. It seemed like, at least for me, it just evened out after a while, and I start I stopped losing. One to go. Next Race time by. Line one. up on the inside. Might help. Uh, might be why the guys that stay out long. We got four guys. 
on the lead lap at the moment, and then we got the wave around, guys. Very interesting. So, first gear start coming up. Just gonna do what we've been doing, I guess. Good team, I got you, bye. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. You're not going green, Sunday. Not going green. Oh, the, We're not the going 20 green. stop on the track, bro. Well, that was Again. less than. Yep. One left to green. Let the pipe come by. All paint shots, so my favorite kind of heat. I wonder, I was like, damn, we're going to race with the pace car. <laughs> Still 40 some, 30 some to go, guys. Chicken some to go. No 40, just 40. Alright, can we go this time? Are we allowed? It's a 5 car. Only 7 on the lead lap. Yeah, that's going to go. 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 Ricky, did you pit? What do you even know that out? Exactly. Who was that? No. I hope I didn't give you a penalty. Somehow I got one. I don't know, man. Yeah, I was a lucky dog. Uh, well, they're wrecking. Wrecking? <laughs> it's a little easier on exit because I heard they were wrecking. Well, at first it had whistled, it, it had told me to let you go, and then all of a sudden it flipped on, like right on the final corner, told me to go around you, and I wasn't prepared to go around you, and the, the green went right, right as I was about to go around you, the green went, oh. Yeah, that ain't no big deal, man. Yeah, but it kind of sucks. Yeah. That's, hey, that's thanks, car driver. Maybe we have more. I'm not a car. It's all in the wall. Nah, mm -hmm. uncheck everything, including the windshield tear off. It, it holds you for like one second and lets you go. Another guy that had a picnic, I noticed. Uh, Alright, one. One. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. has left. Yeah, this guy had everything in check. Like, even the windshield tear off. On the outside. Car number six. Truck number six, rather, is your luckiest dog at the moment. Benefits. Don't worry about him as much as I do the 18. 18's been in the pits for 15 minutes. As Jimmy blew his engine. Still in the session, so who knows? Let's get this over and done with in the next 40 minutes then. We need one more yellow though, so we can get back on the lead lap. Full course yellow, pits are open. You better lose that spot. Oh, I'm not. This will also benefit the people that took the wave around. They'll be able to come in and get tires. If they hadn't already. They might have already, actually, because... I'm not anyway. We we're in the middle of pit cycle. But if they needed uh, any new ones, that helps them out. I imagine. Got eight people on the lead lap. Feeling pretty good at the moment. Seems like this truck's got good short run and long run. <laughs> well, we're uh, ticking down the laps. Less chance for me to ruin my run here by accidentally killing the tires or something. Pits are open. So that's nice. Won't hit the Iowa sign <laughs> up there. Sorry. I don't know if that's built into the track if someone actually hit that. That's kind of funny. I thought you saw a seat there. Okay. <laughs> 
No, I was trying to apply. I have a really dark face right now, so I was applying the moisturizer and pit stuff. We're under caution. Pits are closed. There's someone sideways on pit road. I want to get a view of that. Oh, he's just trying to get in his box. Oh, I thought he crashed or something. Damn, I have one of my sim racing apps take up my whole screen. Yikes. Fifteen, watch me just stay behind you. Hopefully we get a good run to the end. That was such an amazing run to start the race. Which is odd because... Hopefully it's not a caution fest to the end. I don't know why I'm like conserving fuel. I'm just rumbling around in fourth gear so it's quiet. <laughs> not ro ro like roaring in my ears. Alright, back double file. This isn't a lead race, so we don't go single file uh, after a quick caution. It's saying I'm on the outside. So we get another good launch here. I'm gonna check my tires. Seems fine. Always gotta check the tire spin anytime the tires are used at all. Oh, someone got disconnected. I always wanna check well, the tires. Just in case. Never know how they're going to react to a couple of laps. And you do not want to spin your tires on restart. I'm pretty sure he just picked it. He he locked out. The paint car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. It's like another solid Nine start. Lap, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to All right. Let's get this thing over with. Get these laps done. If I've ever won a race at Iowa, I'm going in the apron, guys. Hopefully, we can finish it off today. The guy behind has just done a 3.7. Sorry if I messed anyone up. But at three wires, okay, trying to get out of it. See some smoke. It's a little scary. Sure, I'm using the brakes pretty good. Hey, Curtis, that did work, man. Thanks for that. Got an off pace turn mm -hmm. ahead. Have to watch out for that. I never knew that little trick. Flopping? It'll save a lot of time. If you uncheck everything going in for the right flag, you know, that would just like a second or two. I always forget you can do that. I've heard that before, but I never think to do it whenever the situation arises. They're talking about how if you get like that 40 second stop and uh, go or whatever penalty, you can uncheck fuel and tires, and because you're not taking service while you're there, you get a shorter penalty. That's, I believe how it works. So that's pretty interesting. Of course, you already named me Mr. Larson. That two's back there. He's got speed. And I have to watch out for him. You just uh, get lazy. And don't think about saving the tires and stuff. Let's be smooth. Still got work to do. Uh, 
Just looking to maintain that gap. And hopefully he's pushing right now. And we'll fall off a little bit later. Oh, I even met him on the wall one. Ooh, I hit the bump really bad there. That was not a good way to hit that bump. It really sent me off course. A couple bumps down low in turn one, two, one and two. Is now not quite Iowa Mountain, but still worth noting at times. Seven back there now. Be careful. Oh, that stinks, Christopher. It happened. That lap was at twenty-four point zero. Get a blow made at the wall. He just disappeared down there. Must have done something. Did you blow? I had just got around. Thank you. Man, this guy's charging hard. He's right behind me now. I'm scared. Stay away. There's still a lot of race left, too. I'm nervous. Have a good night. He's gonna take a higher line and try to pass me. Didn't quite get the run there. Too close for comfort. Take the high line and get a run. Scared. Stop. Stop being here. Now I really gotta focus. Can't make any mistakes. No, no. Right, we'll take the high line. Still there, hold your line. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. <laughs> It's going to be a real tough job for him to pass me, so I have to keep that in mind and just remain steady. i to take myself out of this thing. Damn, you guys slowed down big time. The left side is out. Clear up. And the high line turns one and two. For me. It looks like he was able to yeah, stay below Mount really Iowa quick. up there. Yeah, it's probably running Ashford to that. 
I just seem like I'm really awful at the corner. Don't know why. Like I, I need to be downshifting and I can't. Get the high line here. Starting to wonder if that line will be better. I think it was. Right there. Outside. Clear high. Is he falling off? Looks like he might have pushed a little much. It's falling off a little bit unless he's just cooling his tires down to make another run later. I think. Hard to tell if I like the low line or the high line in 3 and 4. They both kind of work. He's much better in 1 and 2, though. Maybe I'm underdriving or something, but... That lap time was 24.6. He threatened to dive it on me there. Anyone want to do the funny and wreck? <laughs> Great race to the end though. This has definitely made it really interesting. That time it seemed like low line was definitely better. That lap was at 24.6. My arm itches. You want to be involved? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Hmm... Oh no, he's there! The car inside. You've just done a... Okay, hide the car on the low side. <laughs> Don't get loose like that. Still there, inside. Trying to get in front of you. You're to take the middle line. The car inside. Still there at the bottom. Ooh, we got a great finish brewing up here. Clear inside. You got five laps to go. If I didn't uh, chop him there, I think I had enough room that that wasn't a problem. Ooh. Let's see if he uh, makes another down. charge. Go! I'm liking the high line. Corner. It's two to go. Two left to go. Two to go. Two to go. You're in the lead. Coming to the white flag. Let's get it before the caution comes out. 
Hooray! <laughs> okay. One more lap to go. Stay oh, close. not time, not the hills of Iowa. Below Mount Iowa. Bumping those at a bad angle. Good being called, and that's a good battle. Yeah, absolutely. That was a lot of fun. Felt like you came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you're on my doorstep. Nice one, Colton. Great win. You deserve that today. You won. Oh, yeah, I had a bad right. I had trouble getting through. Uh, yeah. Me too. I see. Really fun race, though, guys. That was a lot of fun. That's the problem with this track. You get caught in the back. Which is very hard to pass in the track, especially when tires are down. Alright. Good race. I was worried that the nine was going to get me. Yeah, it's a good race for me, but I owe you one. <laughs> That's all good. I'm just kidding. Alright, stay down with me. I'm going to. Share. That's not the one you're using, though, is it? Yeah, the setup. Uh, it's just a free one from old school racing forums, but I was really happy with how it felt. So if anyone wants to use it, they need a setup or something. The setup that you just won with was from old school racing? Yeah, just a free one. That's dope. Mine was fast as fuck too, but I couldn't get around you. Yeah, they killed it this week. I, I was really happy with it. It was good short and long run. So if anyone wants to use it, hopefully it helps other people out too. I'm going to try. Nice. Hopefully it will help at least one person then. So... We got the win! All right! I just feel like that doesn't seem right, that be that bad. Yeah, like I said, they killed it this week. That's really good. I just, uh, the, I changed a couple of things. I did my personal preference, like steering ratio and stuff. Uh, brake bias at 60, and uh, what else did I do? I, uh, I think that's it. <laughs> Hey, Colton, did you share that with me if you don't mind? Yeah, uh, do you not have OS, OSR? No, I've, I've never been on there. Is it hard to get on there and get, get those setups? Or what? No, it's easy. All right, well, I'll go in and get it too. I mean, he could still do it for you, you know, like make it easier, it's whatever, but just future reference. But when you get on there, it's kind of like weird. You got to go to the top left corner and click on the drop down to get your set and then find setups. Uh, yeah, and then it's uh, section three setups or something. I'm sorry? I said is there a section for paid setups and free setups or they all just throw that in there. <laughs> they're all free. This website's they're all free. Alright, incidents. They're actually they're not bad, to be honest. Which one did you use? Oh, I used um the open I always set up and tweaked on it and was just, you know. I always do I mean I'm not great at setting up, but I'm, you know, all right. Oh, I see what you're talking about, Colton. Did you use the one, the season four one? Yeah, just the latest one they had up there. Yeah, yeah, the latest one, I guess. What'd you have to take to? I had to take initially at 668, and then I dropped down 65 during the race. 74, just a couple of percentage, but it uh, was it wasn't getting critical for me or anything, so not much of a difference. But <laughs> you said 34. 
No, no, 74. Oh, okay. Cody, where did they have the tape set initially? It was like 72 or something. Like I said, I just did a couple of percentage. I was just having fun in practice and seeing how far I could push it. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. You're a good win, by the way. Thanks. It was a great race. Lots of green flag running. I love it. Yeah, I never really liked this track, but I'm getting to like it more and more, more racing. Sorry, lots of chatting here, but I'd like to be able to talk to the... I'd rather race at a track like this in Talladega. Take more skill. I'd like to talk to the guys out here, be friendly, share a setup. Hopefully help some guys out and stuff. Yeah. I can do that because it's a free setup for anybody, so it's not like it's I I did learn something a protected setup. In that very top line up against the wall, that's the fastest way in from the screen card, no doubt about it. There's some guys in the wall so far. Guys okay, having some loose moments, maybe. A little bit of wall. And before too long, we'll see what brought out the caution during pit cycle. These are just wall hits, though. Remarkably clean for the first portion of the race. And there is a spin. That didn't bring out a caution, though. More wall, probably some wall. 13's been on the wall a couple times. Wall, wallet, Walbert. Two, just barely avoiding the wall. Gave me a great run for my money at the end there. Got to show off what is really great about this track that you can use both the high lane and the low lane and three and four and you could kind of switch between the two and they're so uh comparable so now we're seeing uh, just a couple more wall hits maybe a couple guys uh having some serious tire trouble Interesting. <laughs> I think this is when the guy said, uh, I didn't know you were pitting. Maybe 18 ahead. He was actually laps down. Tim didn't know he was pitting, so he was kind of like going under him, and then he just kind of kept turning down, and that was weird. Got some wall there after a loose moment. So I'm actually getting a little sleepy. It's getting later in the day. <laughs> kind of spacing out a little bit. These are tires getting old. Before truck getting in the wall. Ooh, drags the wall for a little bit too. Let's get this going. Oh, my. This was our caution, huh? What did the 20 do here? Oh, he missed pit road. And then who even knows what was happening after that? I remember seeing this guy, too. Missing pit road. And this is the guy that had a picnic. Alright, well... That was probably intentional. He misses pit road and so he brings out a caution. That's kind of dumb. I don't know, maybe he's just drunk or something. That's why he was <laughs> parked on the apron for so long, but... Uh, this race probably would have been a little better without this guy in it, but... Oh well. 
That really stinks for this guy. Because he just literally parks right in front of him. That's pretty upsetting. 20 got the caution he wanted. Probably not how he wanted it to go down, but... We've got a restart, and it was an immediate crash. If I remember, yes. Uh, while they're four wide, the 13 trying to uh, get it all figured out gets loose. Fortunately, is not able to gather it up. Wall for that guy. Oh, that was him blowing his motor. I was wondering why we were seeing that. Switched a little bit too early. Yeah, I'm not sure why I was seeing that. Team in the wall. A little bit of bumper action there. And that's the race. So, that'll do it. We get the win here today. But the number two definitely gave us a run for our money at the end. Was, I wanted to kind of go back and look a little bit at our side-by-side. Because -side, that was some fun racing. I think he maybe burned the tires off a little bit. Trying to catch me and trying to get around me. But uh, he definitely was hanging on really well. So he did a great job. I might have been underdriving or something early in the run. I don't know. Maybe overdriving. I have no idea. What oh, were my tires? 85, 92. I don't know what I did to it, but uh, it worked out. So there's us. Bottom line versus high line. Just get that crazy run off top. Enough to clear him into one where you really want to be on the bottom side. And so it really uh, all worked out. It looked like he was really going to try to get below me there, but he was not able to do so. So I take my normal line, and uh, him overdriving the entry like that really hurt him off the corner. Doing everything he could. Great race with him. And can't go much better than that. Started first, finished first, 0x. All right. That'll do it here today. 26 I already gained. Um, we are even more 4.9 A-class safety rating, I guess. And uh, another fun race here on Monday night, which is actually now Tuesday morning. So I will see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching.